What does having a traumatic brain injury have to do with this mixing board right here? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to explain it to you today. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. I'm still on. Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie Kelly here, the traumatic brain injury coach. And today I want to talk to you about one of the vital tasks that your brain normally does, which is to filter out information. Our brains are filtering out about 20,000 bits of information per second, telling us what's important that we should pay attention to and what's not important. And one of the huge problems when you have a traumatic brain injury is that those filters are gone. And so what happens is just as if you had this mixing board and you had all these buttons turned all the way up so that everything was on full blast with no way to differentiate what was the important sound or information and what was the unimportant sound or information. So for example, if you were to go to a restaurant, you would be having a conversation with the person next to you. That would be turned up. Now the dishes clanking in the kitchen would also be turned up. So would a conversation at the table next to you. So would the music. And so would every other sound or piece of information in that restaurant setting. And you can imagine how after a while, that's pretty taxing on an injured brain. So today I wanna to talk to you about things that you can do to replace those filters that are gone. Because this, my friends, is key to living a good life with a traumatic brain injury. So first thing that most of us discover soon after our accidents or injuries is dark glasses. And those could be very helpful at filtering out some of the light, especially with people with light sensitivity. Now, even more helpful than regular sunglasses are what we call syntonic lens um, therapy glasses. And syntonic is a um, therapy that uses colored lights. And unfortunately, I only have my broken pair here to show you, but. This is my pair of glasses I got from my behavioral optometrist or syntonic therapy practitioner. You can also get it from an Erlen practitioner. And what these do is they help relax your brain. There's a very specific color that you might find really helpful for you that it influences your nervous system and helps relax your brain so your brain gets less overwhelmed. The other thing that I never travel without are my earplugs. I use the white foam earplugs you can get at the pharmacy, but there are other earplugs you can get. There are specific earplugs that filter out noises that you can get from an audiologist. And one of the other things that you can use are these. This is what you get from the hardware store. And simply by putting these on when you're at home, oh my gosh, just relaxes your brain and you don't have to deal with all the outside noise. And this will feel like heaven to someone with a brain injury. Other things that you can use to help relax your brain so it doesn't get so overwhelmed when all of these levels are up on your mixing board is kava kava root. It's one of my best friends. And um, watch the video where I explain how I use it and how it relaxes my brain so I can do things like go to restaurants or be in stores. Here's a new one for me. It's brand new. I haven't even opened it. It's this CBD oil. It's cannabinoid oil. It is um, a hemp extract with no, no psychogenic properties. So I have heard from other brain injury survivors that this is a game changer. The CBD oil might be the ticket for you. Check with your doctor about using that though. The other thing that can be really helpful is aromatherapy. So lavender oil is really great to relax the brain and the nervous system. I will go ahead and put it directly on the back of my neck on my brain stem. And that passes the blood brain barrier, goes directly into your bloodstream, into your brain in about six seconds. So essential oils can be very helpful. And the other one is frankincense, which is great for brain function. So those are a couple of the things that you can do to help you live well 
and rebuild some of those filters that might be missing for you. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the wreckage you see. There's more to me. I'm still on the journey. I'm still so that's today's tip, and thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe. Put your comments below on the YouTube channel and let us know what's helpful for you so that we can really help spread the word to other survivors about things that they can use to get help with this. Thank you, my friends.